I love Japanese food. It's so good. Um, I I don't know. I've never felt as balanced as I did when I ate food in Japan. There's a lot of vegetables, a lot of rice, um, not as much meat just because it's so expensive and not as much dairy or cheese because that's also really expensive. But I guess a typical meal for a missionary, we did most of our cooking at home. We would eat at members' houses every so often, but it wasn't a very consistent thing. So we would make, you wake up in the morning and you put rice in the rice maker and then you just decide what you're going to eat with your rice because rice is just an everyday part of life. And so we would eat a lot of just like vegetable stir fry things. Um, something else we ate a lot of was just like kind of fried chicken with lettuce. I don't know, that was really good I thought. Um, we ate a lot of curry, um, which isn't like the Indian curry that you might have eaten before. It's just kind of chopped up vegetables in this sauce that tastes a little bit different than Indian curry and I really liked this stuff called mabo tofu it's just like ground beef with tofu in kind of like a spicy sauce I'm pretty sure it's Chinese not Japanese but it was really good um, but the foods that I remember are the foods that we would eat at members houses or when we went out to eat um, the one that I miss the most is sushi because I just feel like once you go to Japan and you eat sushi there for cheap and in large amounts then you come back here and it's just not the same I've been trying to find good sushi places but um, in Japan they have sushi places all over the place and they have these really cheap ones where it's like a dollar for a plate and they come around on conveyor belts so that was one of my favorite places to go they also have these yakiniku places which is just like it's just meat barbecued meat they bring out the raw meat and then you barbecue it in front of you in front of yourself and yeah that's really good one of my favorite dishes was called tonkatsu and it's just pork that's it's battered in breadcrumbs and fried in oil and you just have that on top of cabbage with rice on the side and that's really good too with every meal you're gonna eat miso soup and most of the time depending on the restaurant they'll they'll have either green tea which you can't drink or they'll have mugicha which is barley tea which you can't drink or they'll have water if you ask for it but yeah I I remember mugicha the members drink it a lot because it's one of the few teas that is okay to drink and the first time I tasted it I hated it it just kind of tastes like like dirt or I heard some missionaries describe it as like cigarette water which I know sounds terrible but the more I drank it, the more I learned to love it, and now you can buy it at Asian markets, and it's really cheap, so I buy it pretty regularly, and I love it now, even though I didn't love it at first. So they have kind of what we would call Japanese McDonald's, which is called Skia, and there they just have rice with meat, and you can get like cheese or vegetables or mayonnaise or anything like that on top of that. That was one of my favorite places to go when we didn't have as much money. Something just in general about Japanese food is they they definitely don't put as much sugar in their desserts or in even their everyday products, which <clears throat> which is actually great. Like I got really used to it and so we would go to the one time we went to the mission president's house for a meeting and um, my mission president's wife had made French toast with buttermilk syrup and I remember I ate it that day and I had a headache like the whole day because there was so much sugar in it and that's when I knew that I'd become used to the Japanese food and their desserts. Unfortunately I've probably like gone back to my sugar consumption but it was nice. Yeah so there's one more it's called Shabu Shabu and it's just it's kinda like fondue but yeah they bring out raw meat or vegetables and you just cook it in this water maybe it's oil I'm not sure but you cook it in that and then they have sauces for it and that one was really good too